Hello, hello. Today I have something uh, exciting to share with you guys. Uh, I mean, hopefully exciting. Uh, because we'll have a lot of drums and percussion in VCV rack. And not only percussion, Hans Zimmer percussion. So come on. It has to be exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, before we jump in, I just want to give you a bit of a background. Uh, about this contact library in case you've never heard of it. It's by Spitfire Audio. It's a, Spitfire is one of my favorite uh, provider of high-end sample libraries. I love their stuff. Unfortunately, it's a premium uh, library, so yeah, maybe, maybe you want to uh, wait for sale. Uh, it's always a good idea. Um, but I mean, it's it's worth the money. I have to say, it's it's really really high end stuff, um, and more important, most importantly, this library. Oh yeah, Hans Zimmer, obviously, is kind of on the cover. I don't know how involved he really was, but uh, I know they are working together a lot. So, uh, and um, this library is wonderful because um, you know, just like many other uh, sample libraries, they record they, they record in Air Studios. It's a really high quality. Um, the reverb that is baked in um, with multiple mic positions. And by the way, I didn't change anything here. I, I didn't change those those mic levels. Uh, everything is pre-mixed. I didn't touch it. This is basically what you hear right now is out of the box from Spitfire. So the idea is that I, I thought what will happen if I throw this wonderful library into VCV rack and then drive it from Polygen Euclidean Rhythm Generator. So that's the idea. Polygen plus Hans Zimmer Percussion equals whatever you hear right now. And it's a fairly simple patch, uh, but there are a few little gimmicks um, that you need to watch out for. Uh, and so I'll, I'll share with you some of the some of the things I found are needed, like pretty awkward stuff, like the sample delay. Um, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel if, in case you would like to create something similar. It doesn't have to be with, with Hans Zimmer Percussion. There are tons of other contact libraries out there. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll walk you through uh, step by step right now and um, let's dive in. All right, so um, in order to pull this off, you will need, you will definitely need this module. It's, uh, it's called Host. Uh, it's uh, by VCV. You can get it from, from their website. Um, unfortunately, it's a premium module, but the good news is it's not as expensive as Hans Zimmer Percussion. And I strongly recommend, if you like VCV Rack, just, just buy this module. It's so useful because it allows you to host different plugins you already have on your computer, both audio and instruments. So in this case, I loaded Contact Instance, and within Contact, I loaded Hans Zimmer Percussion. So this, this whole library right now lives within this module. And as you can see, left, right, is connected to my output. Um, so the only uh, you know, thing we need to figure out now is how to play this instrument. Essentially, there are different percussive sounds assigned to different keys. So it's almost like how to how to force VCV rack to play this keyboard. And it's not that complicated. You have two inputs, CV and gate. So CV determines what key you, key you, you want to press and gate determines when you press it and when you re release it. So it's, not, it's not a rocket science. Uh, in addition, I added velocity here, but um, you know what? Let's um, Let's get rid of it for now because it will be much simpler to see this whole thing. So essentially there are two inputs and there are two lanes here, two rows that generate those inputs. So let's have a look. Um, on the top row, I have clock generator LFO uh, that um, goes through mute. This is just for convenience because I can activate different clocks and they're getting merged into polyphonic uh, signal. Let's get rid of that because that was also about ac accentuation. So um, why do we need to do that? Uh, because Polygen expects that. Polygen simply expects polyphonic uh, clock signal because if you just send it, uh, you know, uh, monophonic, it will play. Let's actually try it. 
proxy, it only plays the first channel. Um, so if you want more, you need to generate that polyphonic clock, even if it's the same. Um, so now Polygen generates um, six Euclidean rhythms for us. And if you're not familiar with Euclidean rhythms, it's also a very simple concept. It's, uh, it's an algorithm that allows you to spread, let's say, 11 hits uh, as evenly as possible across the length of 21. So it's, it's as simple as that. And basically, they're just two numbers. Um, speaking of Hans Zimmer, <laughs> let's let's try that. So, for example, Euclidean three by eight, right? This is very kind of in cinematic music abused pattern three by eight. So you know, two faders, so many possibilities, um, and that's it. So this is what Polygen is doing for us now, uh, and then it uh, it it spits out those gates on different channels through this cable and. It goes over here. So if I activate all of these clocks, notice that all of these different lanes, so one, two, uh, are going out. Uh, also notice that I'm using um, prime numbers for for those rhythms. That that's what I, I, I usually find the most interesting. If you have a bunch of prime numbers, they they are not overlapping and giving very interesting. Uh, results. So this is what, what's going on here. So now let's track this side. This is very simple. This Polycon 8 module from Bog Audio is generating constant voltage on six different channels. So for example, on channel one, it generates minus four, four volt, which will correspond to this note over here. Then it goes through quantizer. This is, by the way, optional. Um, I just use uh, quantizer for convenience because Hans Zimmer percussion only use white keys, so that's that's you know that's that's why. Uh, so for example, I'm going to activate channel one and move this knob over here. Right? And then I can say, hey, I want to go set different note on channel two. This is all you need to do. Um Okay, so we, we now have these two inputs and everything works. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is just notice how kind of dead and, and uninteresting these rhythms are because they, are, they don't have any dynamics built in. It, it, you, can, you can feel it's, it's not, it doesn't sound real or authentic. So in order to um, make it more interesting, I added extra layer here, which is velocity. So host allows you to send extra information. If you right click, you can, you can select whatever else you need to send to contact. So in this case, I decided I want velocity on this input. And, and I dedicated extra channel on Polygen. In this case, just for convenience, I decided it's going to be channel 16. I set this, this rhythm 10 by 15 Euclidean. And this clock activates that channel for me. So now it's this output gives us six basic channels over here, but it also I'm grabbing the 16 channel on the separate uh, path. And I'm using offset by bog audio to scale that before it goes to velocity. So notice what happens. Um, and this, 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 this accent, by the way, applies to all instruments. Now I'm reducing velocity. So offset determines how loud the, the whole thing is, how, how much velocity there is on those notes. And scale will determine how pronounced this accent will be. By the way, let's try a uh, length of Three by eight. <laughs> yeah, um, you probably recognize it, right? It's like it's such a common pattern. So um, let's go back to where we were. Um, so this works nicely for me 
it's, it's nice to have this control. There was one problem, and this is why I have to introduce the sample delay. If you, I mean, I could go straight. Let's say if we didn't have that, if I, if I went straight like this, notice that these accents right now don't work. Why? Um, because in VCV rack, every cable introduces one sample delay. So now notice what happens. My main six channels are going over here. They are delayed by one sample. Um, and if I go straight, it would be just delay of one. But my other path here it introduces delay of one, two, three. So this velocity arrives two samples after the note uh, was triggered, which is too late. So that's why I need to delay the signal by one, two, three, and they all arrive at the same time. In fact, it can be even later. Velocity, it's nice if it arrives slightly, slightly before it will also work. So that's the only kind of gimmick, uh, kind of workaround in order to um, make it work. So um, yeah, I hope it will help you guys in, in, in case you want to do that, because it, otherwise it might be frustrating. Um, and let's have a look. Um, yeah, I think we covered everything. Um, you know, we didn't automate, we didn't animate anything. So just imagine all the possibilities. I use only six channels. Um, so uh, I hope you will have fun with this idea. And I'm really curious to see if, if you guys can come up with something um, to, to build off of this and, and come up with something, uh, you know, bigger. <laughs> And, and, and even more exciting. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, take care.